We have to start this video off with the latest mod that has gotten people riled up, and that is the Friday the 13th mod with Late Girlfriend. Now, a lot of people call this mod inappropriate because boyfriend and girlfriend are nearly naked, but let's be honest, most people are definitely looking at girlfriend here. The thing about this though, is that girlfriend wasn't naked here for no reason. This is actually a really common theme in most of the Jason movies, both new and old, and even a Friday the 13th video game. For example, in this movie right here, these two people are literally doing the do right before Jason comes into the room and puts a spear through both of their backs. Now, obviously I can't show it to you, but that is a very common thing in Jason, right? Because most of the people in the movies are like young teens. And when you put young people in a cabin out in the middle of nowhere, there's not a whole lot of stuff to do. Another example is this iconic scene with Chelsea where she's actually hiding in the water and again she is naked and Jason literally stabs her through the planks of the dock. Again, obviously I can't show it but I think you get the point. And lastly, I don't know how many of you have actually played the Friday the 13th game but this is the actual loading screen as you're loading into the game. And not many people complain about this loading screen because they understood that Friday the 13th was definitely an adult themed game but I think what a lot of people forget is that so is FNF technically. And just like any other fandom that has an adult fan base, there's always going to be children that kind of sneak in there as well. Next, we have the After Trauma mod, and a lot of people don't know how messed up this mod really is. As you see here, Peter and Lois look horrified as they're driving in this car, and this is actually from the episode of Family Guy called The Munsterian Candidate. And if you don't understand this pun, you are probably too young for this explanation, and you will be scarred. Come on. Do it. Do it! Now in the original episode, Lois takes Peter to a therapist so that she can hypnotize him into basically becoming a sex slave for her whenever he hears a command word. He'll basically become hypnotized and then perform a certain act, we'll say. This scene in the episode was supposed to kind of represent that. Now at first, everything is great and Lois and Peter are loving the new arrangement. But things turn bad when they go to visit Lois' mother. And some of you may already see where this is going. Lois's mother was sick at the time, so Peter took her some food to her room to help her get better. But while he was in her room, the command word was said on TV. And since Lois' mom was the only woman around, Peter did what he was hypnotized to do. After Lois runs up and catches them, she snaps Peter out of his hypnosis and then they leave driving home looking absolutely traumatized. which is what actually inspired the mod scene here. But I guess at least Lois's mom was happy at the end. <sighs> the next characters are from the regular show and more specifically from a Yaoi comic. And trust me, you probably don't want to look up the word Yaoi because you are going to see some stuff that you probably don't want to see. Now a lot of people have problem with the mod because they claim that it ruined their childhood and also because it's based on a ship that a lot of people never really actually agreed with. I think people also hated this one because in the mod it implies that they kiss at the end and of course they are looking at each other kind of lovingly but people really hated the comic because you actually get to see them kiss. And there was also a scene where Rigby hops like out of a gift box and jumps into Mordecai's arms and they kind of fall over a couch together. There's another scene where Rigby pretends to like need to whisper something in Mordecai's ear, but he actually goes in for a kiss. And then there's this picture of them cuddled up that people absolutely despised. Personally, I didn't think this one was that bad and it was actually kind of cute, but you know, people are going to get mad at certain things and it's nothing you can do about it. The next mod I want to talk about, I don't think really needs a whole lot of explanation for why it makes the sus list, but it's literally boyfriend versus you know what. And as the name suggests, it's basically just boyfriend battling against a glizzy. And whoever was the artist for this, making all the veins pop out and all this stuff, they knew exactly what they were doing with this one. And all honesty, I find this mod kind of funny because it kind of goes back to the root of FNF, because FNF is at its core just a funny game about a young man trying to get laid, pretty much. This next one was popular a little while back, and this is the one where boyfriend actually gets caught by Daddy Dearest in the bed with Nene. And I think people had issue with this one for two reasons. A lot of people don't like the idea of boyfriend and girlfriend cheating on each other because if you look at like the canon lore, the two of them are madly in love and they would never actually cheat on each other. But I think the other reason that a lot of people are upset here is because Nene had the cheeks out. And there also may have been another version of this where it was actually Sky in the bed with boyfriend. And a lot of people had issue with that because there was just a lot of drama surrounding Sky in the earlier days of FNF. So whenever she pops up, like the community is kind of half and half with her. But as of now, I think most of that drama has pretty much been resolved. So there shouldn't really be any issue with it now. 
Next, we have the unsex mod, which I showcased a little bit in a short, but people wanted to see like the stuff that I left out. Now, the first person that pops up in the mod is Daddy Darius, but I'm sure you've noticed that he has a little bit extra added on to him which is kind of the theme of this mod. It seems that some of the characters have had their genders changed and been given a bit more fluff, we'll say. And we see that trend continue here with Boyfriend, who is also in a thong, and judging by the bed in the background, I guess we can understand why. Although it doesn't seem like Pico is really that interested. And weirdly enough, in this mod, Boyfriend dies, and it seems like Girlfriend appears in like her half-demonic form. So it kind of implies that like Pico and Girlfriend are a couple in this mod. Next, we see this character from Undertale's called Toriel. And it's weird seeing her sexualized because she was literally called the goat mom because she was so motherly and sweet in the game. And to see her with the biddies all out just seems kind of wrong, honestly. Next, we have some characters that you probably grew up with and that's Water Girl and Fire Boy. but they've been kind of turned into like well-endowed female characters, obviously. Next, we have Gardevoir, who let's be honest, people were simping for her even before this, so I'm not surprised to see her in this mod at all. People go crazy for this Pokemon for some reason. Just for the sake of the video, I ended up typing in sexy Gardevoir in Google, and some of the images are just crazy. People are so damn bad for this character. Here are a few of the images, but I'm not gonna show most of them because I think they'll get me demonetized. And if we're being honest, this video is probably already skirting that line a little bit and then lastly we have this character that is like a plump slime and i have no idea where this character is from and i don't think i want to look it up because i feel like i'm going to find something weird this next mod is called the twitch split and i can't figure out why people are so upset about this one maybe they just don't like this penguin zero guy but in all seriousness i think people just thought that the hot tub streamer version of girlfriend looked a bit too sexy and inappropriate which is kind of ironic here because i think that was kind of the point of the mod the mod was kind of bring light to how bad twitch was treating their streamers and some of the streamers that they were actually highlighting which of course are a lot of the hot tub streamers and people who are not necessarily making great content you would say but i think people kind of lost the point when they saw the biddies in the booty shorts the last mod on this list is called Mime and Dash, and I would recommend that you don't go check the original video because it is straight up corn, which I think is the issue that people had with this mod and with a lot of the other mods that are just straight up corn as well. Even though FNF is definitely an adult game, I think once you go to that level, you will get a lot of people complaining because, you know, a lot of people just think it's too much, right? You obviously have a crowd that's going to love it and a crowd that's just going to like walk away from it. But if you're simply itching to see what this video is about, there is a safe for work version of it on YouTube, I believe. And while it definitely has some sexual themes to it, it's not too bad. This is like a little preview right here. But with that being said, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to go check out part one of the sus FNF videos that I made. Subscribe today to become a member of the Orange Force, and we'll see you tomorrow with another video. Peace, peace.